Bill Maher recently wrote a blog about money and politics, and this is what he had to say. A recent New York Times poll shows that almost everybody hates Citizens United, that 46% want to completely rebuild our campaign finance system, and another 39% want to fundamentally change it. How come there's no apparent clamoring for complete public financing of campaigns? Isn't it the only thing we can do at this point? We've tried nibbling around the edges. It's only made things worse. Now he adds, For politicians, I don't think the bar should be calling for a constitutional amendment overturning Citizens United. The bar should be calling for complete public financing. Citizens United is misunderstood. The root of the evil was there before it existed, and some other nonsense could easily replace it. Now, he's 100% right. Look, money in politics was already a problem before Citizens United, but what that ruling did was exacerbate it, and it pretty much opened the floodgate so that way now pretty much unlimited money can be poured into campaigns. So now, what's the best way to actually go about achieving public financing of elections? Well, hands down, it's Wolfpack. I haven't seen any other types of groups that really have a practical solution to the problem of money in politics. So now, what Wolfpack does is it's trying to enact a constitutional failsafe so that way if the national government gets too corrupt, well, the state governments can stop it from being more corrupt. So what happens is what you can do is you can call for an Article 5 convention if you get three-fourths of the states, that's uh, 38 states, I believe. Now, if you can get 38 states to um, sign on to an Article 5 convention, well, they can codify a new constitutional amendment and subvert Congress, and Congress would then be bound by this new constitutional amendment. So now the reason why we actually have to go through the state legislators is because they're not corrupt yet. I mean, sure, money in politics is kind of a problem in certain states, um, depending on the political context. But I mean, by and large, they're a lot less corrupt than our national congressional uh, legislator. So now, when you look at the way that elections are run in our country, going to the House, I mean, House members are elected every two years. So they're constantly in campaign mode. They're constantly thinking about how they're going to get more money, how much more donors they can attract. So, of course, they're not going to be wanting to worry about campaign finance reform because they don't have time to. Now, when you look at the uh, larger Congress, including the Senate as well, so even if there's one um, politician that's inclined to get publicly funded elections through a constitutional amendment, well, if they propose it and fail, then special interests such as uh, billionaires, corporations, um, interest groups, what they're going to do is they're going to pour a ton of money into their opponent's campaign to make sure that that politician does not get back into Congress. So you're really damned if you do, damned if you don't in this situation. I mean, you could be in favor of a constitutional amendment to uh, publicly fund elections, but you better make sure that if you're going to propose that, it's going to win. So now, Every generation at this point has passed a major constitutional amendment, except us. We haven't done that yet. And I think this is going to be our time. We're going to have to do this. We're going to have to rally. We're going to have to volunteer. We're going to have to call our legislators and ask them to adopt the Wolfpack Amendment. At this point, I believe three states in total have uh, codified it. Um, but we've got a long ways to go. A long, long ways to go. Look. I know that you guys are concerned with like climate change and minimum wage and whatnot, and these are all extremely important issues, but the problem is that we can't even address these issues until we address money in politics because you've got to go for the one thing that's stopping all other legislation from getting through. I mean, if you want legislation on climate change, well, good luck getting through to Republicans because they're all bankrolled by the fossil fuel industry. All of their campaigns are paid for by and large by these types of organizations that want to, um, that want to pollute, such as Coke Industries. So now, at this point, I don't see any other feasible way to get money out of politics and to publicly finance elections than to go through Wolfpack. So if you guys are interested in that, check out wolf-pack.com, and you can actually become a volunteer. It's extremely easy. I've done it. I've called legislators, and they're actually a lot more receptive to the message of Wolfpack than you think. So give that a try. Check out wolf-pack.com, because again, I can't see any other way that's practical to actually get money out of politics.